A good technician is observant of their surroundings. Remember that, guys. And guys. ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for tuning in it's me mikey pipes sunday morning 8 24 just leaving the office here in woodmere new york heading on a uh air conditioning service call it's not an emergency she called yesterday when it was like 68 degrees out and nice wind and she was calling for her and says listen um we got a pretty uh pretty full schedule i'll get you in tomorrow Okay, thank you so much. So we're heading right now to Lindbrook, which is uh, about maybe five, seven minutes away. Customer has no central cooling in their home. Let's go see what's going on. All right, guys. Hope you enjoy. Good morning. What's up? How are you, sir? How are you? Good. Is no air conditioning? Okay. Let's go to the thermostat. Where did the problem start? Uh, I think about a day ago. Okay. Did it fly up until then? Yeah. When I looked at everything, I had my other uh, set in. Let's uh, see what she said. You guys were here maybe last year, the year before, and replaced the, uh, the fan motor outside. Okay. So my guess, my guess, if it's an old unit, Hmm. And the compressor's probably old. It's probably pulling a lot of amps and throwing the motor out and the fan motor out again. I think you guys warned me of that, maybe. Maybe. But what does it do when I turn this on? Anything? The fan runs. Indoor fan runs? Yes. Does it blow it with good intensity? Yes, and ambient. Okay. Yeah. And up until about three days ago, it was just super fucking cold in here. I mean, like ridiculous cold. So I know that's a good thing or bad thing. The R twenty two is there. I don't, <laughs> think, I, don't, I don't think there's a leak in, the, right. in, the, in that crappy R twenty two. Let's uh, we'll go check the outdoor unit. Let me get my shoes back on. And now we're gonna take the cover off and push the, that override button. Hold the button. But she said you were coming, so it's the What override button? Is it over yeah, a little sir, red button? The fan was going to go on. You know what I mean? Okay. But I didn't, I didn't want to put it in. Understood. All right, let me go see. It's in that back corner, I believe, right? Yeah. Yep. <coughs> By the way, the wife was sitting in the corner, and the looks on her is like she wanted to murder somebody. By the way. Covered in mulch. <laughs> not doing anything. Absolutely nothing. Okay. Did you check the circuit breakers? You know, I had my son check it. Let okay. I can go look. And your unit's in the attic or the first floor, the basement? It's upstairs. I took a pic. I went up there this morning. I took a picture of it. There's no water up there. The float switch isn't activated. You know, there's no water in the pan. But that that thing's upstairs. All right. Let me get some tools and we'll start outside and make sure. It's... I said my son there on the phone yesterday. That is correct. So I don't hear any sound of the contactor being pulled in. I put my ear up against the unit, and sometimes you can hear we're not even doing that, but put my ear up against the unit, I don't hear anything. All right, so I got my tool bag. We're gonna see if we have 24 volts going to the condensing unit. If we don't, then we have to investigate maybe thermostat, break in communication wire between the air handler and the condensing unit, or maybe flow switch, not being uh, closed circuit. All right, here's that unit. Uh, 48, four time. Ha <laughs> 
Mm. All right, contact are not pulled in. We have a. What the hell? They made it very tight here. I'd be surprised there was nothing coming from inside. Well, that would suck if there was nothing here, though. Let's see, get that on there. And no voltage. All right, now we go to the thermostat. R and Y jumped out. Negative, still 2.8. <coughs> okay, water in the float switch. But float switch not activated. Is there another float switch I'm not seeing here? There's got to be something here. Bingo. There it is. <laughs> A good technician is observant of their surroundings. Remember that, guys. And gals. All right. So, someone was smart enough when this either failed or they didn't want to use that anymore. They got this hockey puck right here. See that? And right now it's active. So if I were to pull that out, okay, it's moisture there. And when this dries, I can hit that green reset button. No cooling. Took off the felt. Set it there to dry. A la peanut butter sandwiches. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to blow out the drain line. They put the the uh, the vent tee there. It was mind boggling, but where does this drain go? All the way over there. All right, all right. So back outside, there is C and Y. I still don't have 24 volts. I reconnected my thermostat. Maybe I was too premature, and I shouldn't have reconnected the thermostat so quickly. I don't know. All right, now we got 26 volts. I wonder why it reset. Hmm. Home one went upstairs to the attic for me to check out the hockey puck. One coupling, two couplings, three couplings, four couplings. Let's not be stupid. That's a union solvent on both sides. You could tell how many times a condensate drain has been cleared by how many couplings there are, but Nanda's a union, I just blew on both sides. And she's running. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. Central air conditioning not cooling. Homeowner thinks maybe, <laughs> can't be the Freon, right? It was blasting cold before. Don't overlook the obvious, and a good technician is observant of their surroundings. Catch you on the next one. Be well. God bless. Stay safe. Go ahead.